Hey viewers, no wines on chemistry here. Today we are going through the separation technique evaporation to dryness. We will need a tripod stand, an evaporating dish, a wire gauze, a Bunsen burner, and a glass steering rod. For this experiment, we will be demonstrating evaporation to dryness using a salt solution. As we already have a solution of salt and water, we just need to stir it to dissolve all the salt. As you can see, all the salt has been dissolved. Now it's time to pour the solution into the evaporating dish for evaporation. After pouring the solution into the evaporating dish, place the evaporating dish onto the tripod stand with the wire gauze steadily. Here is the view of the evaporating dish from the top. Now we'll light up the Bunsen burner. Make sure the air hole is closed before this. Next, Carefully place the tripod stand over the Bunsen burner. Lastly, you may open the air hole to enhance the flame. The last part, waiting. As you can see, all the water has evaporated, leaving the salt residue behind. This is how you separate a soluble solid from a solvent using evaporation to dryness.